Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey. I'm an ambassador for Olympus UK, and this video is all about food photography. But not just any food, Christmas food photography, hence the hat, which if I'm honest is probably gonna get in the way as I take the pictures. So I'll just get rid of that for the time being. So food photography, there are three areas to look at. There is the background of your image. There is the lighting, of course. And then there is the thing that makes it feel festive, the food styling. Now I'll show you each of those in turn. So I think the first thing to do is get some food in. Let's get some light set. Let's get shooting. So the food I'm gonna be photographing today are these, which are homemade gingerbread Christmas cookies. And well, they're fantastic. My wife, Sam, has done these. She's already styled them up for me, which is really nice. We'll talk about styling in a little bit because first of all, I'm gonna talk about backgrounds. Now, backgrounds in your food photography are really important. If you have a good background, your food is gonna look great. But if you have a bad background, it's gonna ruin the entire look and feel of your shot. Now I'll show you an example of both in a second, but let's talk about cameras. I'm gonna be using the Olympus EM1 Mark III, and for this shot, I'm gonna use the F1.2 25 millimeter lens, because whatever background you've got, you possibly want to blur it out of focus, and the F1.2 is excellent at that. So let's take a bad background picture first of all. I'm just gonna take a picture of the cookies with whatever background comes to hand, and as you can see, the background is there, but it is a real mess, and it's competing with the cookies for your attention. Now I can make this better really easily. All I need to do is simplify the background. Now I'm kind of lucky I have a much more simple background. I just need to move to the side and take exactly the same shot. And this time, the background no longer competes with the cookies. It becomes a complementary background. Of course, you may not have the perfect background to hand, but there is another way that you can get a food photo that has a clean, clutter-free background, and that's to shoot from above, looking straight down onto your food. And that's what we're gonna do here. So Sam's arranged the cookies in a sort of Christmas tree pattern, and I'm gonna shoot straight down from above. I've changed lenses for this. I've swapped to the 12 to 40 millimeter because the zoom just gives me a bit more flexibility. The lighting for your food photography, well, it can come from pretty much anything. It could be window light, it could be flash, it could be continuous LED lights like I'm going to use. Whatever sort of light you use, there is a golden rule, which is just use one light source. Now that has a couple of advantages. It means that first of all, you'll have just light coming in one direction. You won't have multiple shadows and potentially you run the risk of having different colored light on your subject, which is not a good look. If I put my light really high, effectively what I've got is on-camera light. So if I'm shooting from above looking straight down, well that's the same direction as my light source. And although it looks perfectly fine, it lacks shadows. And shadows in food photography are really important. Don't be afraid of shadows because they add three-dimensional depth and interest to your shot. So my usual position for lighting food is to put the light behind the food, or at the very least at the side. And that might seem like the wrong thing to do, shooting into the lights, but trust me, for food photography, that is a great look. Now in this case, shooting from above, I can't actually put the light behind the food because, well, it's on a solid board. So I'll do the next best thing, which is to have really low side light to make this really dramatic. So let's see how this looks. As you can see, we've got a lit part in the top left corner and it fades to a darker area in the lower right corner. And we've got those shadows next to the cookies, which really adds some depth to this picture. Food styling is a lot more than simply making your Christmas cookies look good enough to eat. It's all about selling the lifestyle, the story behind it. So that really is Sam's department. And she's done this great little job with some icing sugar to create this sort of Christmas tree shape. And I really like this. This is coming together extremely well. We just need a few other props to really make this feel festive. So 
So there we are, the styling is done. Sam's done a fantastic job. Now, she tried a couple of variations, but the one we felt worked the best for this scene was to try and create little corners to frame the actual cookie Christmas tree effect. And I think it works beautifully. Let's take a picture from above and see how it goes. So there you go, there is our final picture of our Christmas cookies. Sam did a fantastic job, both with the baking of the gingerbread cookies and of course the styling of them as well. I'm Gavin Hoey, thanks for watching.